What's going on Social Media Land Tool Group is today we're changing the low beam on the Chevy Silverado truck, the 2007 model. For those who don't know, this is your low beam on top, your high beam on the bottom. It's that way on both sides. And whenever you pop your hood on this, here's the type of bulbs I got on one of the highest bulbs that there is available at the local CarQuest. So I got Sylvania. It's H11. These are some really good bulbs. And they come in this really nice case. As you can see, the new one is the ones on the right. I've already changed the uh, driver's side here. And I'll show you how I've done that. Come in a really nice case. Whenever you pop your hood, there's generally two battery sections. There's one over there. There's one over here where you can put your battery on either side. Now, if you look right up top here, this is the one right over here in the corner, right directly to the left of where your washer fluid is. And all you do for that, if you look inside of here in the back, you can look over whenever you're pulling this thing out. And you turn it to the left. And what I mean by that is when you're inside here, you turn it this way counterclockwise to pop it out clockwise to pop it in when you put it in you can see those little prongs in the back right there that will go and they will fit a specific way so whenever you tighten it to the right you'll be able to put it right back in there easy peasy and you'll be able to plug the harness right back in and then go to the passenger side and in order to loosen up the passenger side you have to take this out of the way which means take the bolts take the fasteners off of your breather your air filter and then you'll be able to access the beam on the passenger side now the bolts on these things there should be four of them is a t25 star bit which you can use as i'm doing here or you can use it with an actual socket and a ratchet and go ahead and start taking this air filter housing off you have the two bolts on the side two bolts on the other side or screws rather and then your other one is right down in here to get you something reach down in here with it and just take them apart next to get you an eight millimeter socket or a nut driver of some kind and go ahead and loosen up this water clamp on top of your breather hose here and then we will be unplugging this little harness right here next now you don't necessarily have to unplug it, but I would rather unplug it than put some strain on these wires here just to be safe. So go ahead and unplug it. That way you don't damage anything. All you gotta do is take this little clip right here, push down on it, pull it right off, easy as pie. And then move it out of your way. Next, take your filter out, and then go ahead and take the housing here out for the air filter. And on this model, there is no fasteners that you can see no bolts that you can see and you just pop up on it and it pulls it loose as you can see it just pops into place with those little plastic ribbits right there and then you'll have full access to your other light bulb now your other light bulb once again is going to be right here on this side you pop it out just like so then you go ahead and you take this clip off here you pull your light bulb out put your new one in Get it loose, you come over here, make sure everything looks good. The light bulbs aren't blue, blown or anything, which you'll, you'll be able to see right inside here. Set them side by side, make sure they're accurate, make sure the plug-ins are right. Pull it out, plug it in, put it back together. Now I'll put the old ones back in the case so I can keep these for backups because they are not blown or anything, so I could reuse them again if these blow. And then you come right back over here. Go ahead, there's my wire and harness. You can take this bulb, put it in place, if you look back through here, you can see that i got to move it around to where it'll fit into place like so. And then you twist it until it locks in place. Then all you got to do is take your plug in, plug it right back in where it goes. Pop this thing, the housing, right back in where it goes. And if you line up this particular hole right here and make sure everything else is just right, you'll be able to push it back down into place. And you'll be able to feel it pop right back in where you need it at. Then go ahead and put your filter right back in. Go ahead and get your upper part of your air filter housing put back in. Line everything up. Then you tighten your T25s down. You put your water clamp back on your 8mm, tighten it up. And then you test out your lights and you're done. Got everything back where it needs to be. Everything locked into place. I'm going to go ahead and take this 
put it where it goes. I'm going to get my actual water clamp here on the air filter, the breather. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up next. I want me to help if I turn it the right way. Yep. Alright, you tighten this up and then you get your T25, you tighten these down, and then you are good to go. So if you like do-it-yourself videos, if you like tool reviews, if you like just talking mechanics, carpentry, plumbing, electric, who knows, a little bit of everything, why don't you just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and learn a few different things. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're a weekend warrior, or you just want to educate yourself on how to do stuff and start becoming a mechanic yourself, it's always good to watch everybody on YouTube and find out how to do things yourself. That way you get a jump start on the game. If you decide to go to college, get certified, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment below. But if you're going to subscribe, subscribe, ring the bell. And this is the Backwoods Mechanic, and I'll see y'all on the flip side.